Good morning and welcome to Tennessee Valley this morning. And uh, although the weather has been terrible and the rain, just sit back in your cozy little chair, get a cup of coffee, and we have Chris, the co-host, and we have Ralph Fisher with us today. And also, we're going to have Kelly Bender, who's with the city, uh, Cleveland City Schools Supervisor of Counseling and Special Programming. That'll be good for me. And then we have Dr. Bill Green from Lee University that's going to be here and talk to us about the exciting time, the Lee Singers that, that are all going to be combined, over 200 voices going to the inauguration and I heard them Sunday they were awesome and he's going to be here later so don't switch the channel we're going to stay right here and Mr. Fisher it is wonderful to be have you here today thank you very much I'm honored to be here well it, it's great and for you to get up early and come out I'm telling you in all this rain and all I think I think we need to start building a ark there you go. You think we should? <laughs> and this time we're going to leave the mosquitoes off and the snakes, there okay? You go. Fine with me. Fine with me. I know. But we're going to talk to you today about the Upward uh, Basketball Program that you're totally, completely involved in. Yes. And uh, give us some information on that. Okay. We started this program uh, eight years ago at our church, Waterville Baptist Church. And uh, we started with 87 kids in our program. And this year we've signed 187 kids up. So we've been, we uh, last awesome. year we had 208. So we're down just a little bit. But uh, this program started out of South Carolina about uh, 16 years ago, and the man who started this uh, had a vision to branch us off into other churches. And now there's over 600,000 kids involved with upward uh, sports that uh -huh. includes soccer and basketball. We do just the basketball program. And again, uh, we've been honored to, to have the only one in our community now. Uh, First Baptist used to do both, and uh, they needed a break during the winter months, so they gave the basketball program to our church. And we have approximately 1,500 people in our gym every Saturday. We have eight games, and it begins February the 2nd this year, and it'll end uh, close to the end of March. But we, uh, we'll have eight games, but uh, again, we have a, a, a variety of Churches involved. We probably have over 60 different denominations that are involved with our uh, kids. And it's awesome. I know it's awesome because I have a, a grandson that has participated for the last, what, four years probably. And mm -hmm. then I have the five-year-old that's coming in this year. And let me tell you, I can't wait to see him on the field. Oh, or on the on the court. court. Yeah, I'll, I'll get my sports straight yeah, down in a minute. Fine. Yeah, you can educate me while we're here today. Okay. <laughs> and again, he is he's actually playing on my grandson's team. I have a seven-year-old grandson, and your youngest grandson, I guess, is going to be on that team with yes. my my son-in-law. He's an assistant coach, Daryl Whitaker. Oh, okay. And uh, Jamie Fox, who's uh, involved with Michigan Avenue, he's the head coach. But we have uh, 26 teams, 52. Uh, coaches involved. We have everybody has an assistant, and again, uh, it's a, a good program in that uh, it communicates the gospel to people. We have a lot of people who will never be churched at all. They'll never, never go to church, and this may be the only gospel they'll ever hear. But That's uh, right. it's it's a it's a Christian-based organization, and basically we teach them skills in basketball, but also we we teach them scripture. We have uh, have scripture lessons that we give the kids every week to learn. And then on Saturday, at between every game, we have eight to ten minutes. Someone will be a speaker and give some type of presentation of the gospel. So we're spreading the good news and teaching kids about basketball as well. You know the thing that I appreciate about it so much, and as a grandmother, uh, Alex and Oliver, as far as I know, will never get a scholarship playing basketball. You know, they're, they love it, they're mm -hmm. enjoying it, but it's not their livelihood or that's not where they're they're future lies at this point. And it's such a great program for the children that do not have all the skills that maybe some children have. And it's not as competitive as right. it is. We were in another sport that was so competitive that I'd cry every time I'd leave the field. I'd think these poor children, right. you know, the pressure they're put under. And that's what I saw and the way that they are the sportsmanship that is shown it has been awesome to watch these children interact with each other competitive but good sportsmanship well, and the okay. parents also absolutely and again uh, we've had this for a number of years and uh, we do not keep score so it's not as competitive uh, you know kids they have their parents to keep scores occasionally but it's not posted on a, a scoreboard yes. or anything 
and we have six six minute periods and again we have a halftime presentation but at the end of the year we have a, an awards program and this year we have a, a pretty famous ventriloquist that's coming to present our program again he's probably one of the world's best but he presents a great uh, program he builds his own dummies that he speaks and has his own voice for every dummy, but he has a great gospel presentation that he gives as well. Well, the kids will thoroughly enjoy that. Yeah, absolutely, and we have and prizes for them. Yes, the parents <laughs> will enjoy it too. So yes. uh, this is coming up at the end of March, and uh, we're looking forward to our season beginning on February the 2nd. And then again, we do it eight weeks in a row, and the last week we'll have our awards night that we'll give a presentation to the to the children. And after each game, they go upstairs and they're given stars, and there's a sportsmanship mm -hmm. and best improved and all of this. Mm -hmm. And so they, they kind of spread those around until every child gets, gets something yes. for playing that day, and they feel so rewarded. And uh, I know I enjoy going. Of course, I enjoy the popcorn. And the good mm. food that you all have, that Thank concession you. stand is phenomenal. They have phenomenal. a good concession stand there. They yes, really they do. do. Yes, they do. Yeah, they really do. But it is a phenomenal program. And I just see the way you interact with them. And, and it's mm. awesome that you have the heart to do it and the patience and the kindness. Well, you don't always that. find that. And, and also, we try to introduce the kids in every ball game. They enjoy seeing their name, you know, in, in lights, and, but they enjoy somebody saying their name. So we introduce the kids ever, at every ball yes. game. And we also have prizes for them. At the end of the year, we give them a trophy that we, the money from the concessions is, um, is given back to the program. Okay. And that's, we, that's how we get our trophies or we give, give them awards, a little medallion or something to, at the end of every year. So uh, this is done through the money from the concessions. Okay. Now we are no longer in the period where they can sign up, right? Or Basically it ended last, um, last Saturday. Okay. Uh, um, we've got all the uniforms in. Again, the pictures uh, would be made real soon, so we've pretty much wound it down. Uh, we've given them three months for kids to sign up, so we've, we've got to start somewhere. So um, we pretty much ended it last Saturday. But we, what we do, we start in October. We start announcing to the schools. We put it in the paper. We take, I get 4,000 flyers that Upward send us, and I get them out to about uh, 10 different schools. We advertise it on the radio, and so we give them a month to to soak this in and then we do an evaluation and Upwards has been doing this such a long time that they evaluate the children and we, we've equalized the teams by this evaluation. Okay. So this is, this is how it's done. So we try to have the uniforms and the teams organized by the end of December and we try, try to start our practice the 1st of January. So we have four weeks of practice, then the game starts. Well, I was wondering how you, how you placed Oliver the one that's going to be five this month, yeah. because I wasn't sure there was anyone else that plays basketball like he does. Well, you know, we were talking about on the soccer field when he played soccer this summer. He he was out there flying like an airplane, and everyone else is running to one end of the uh, the field or the other. He's doing his thing, but that happens, and mm. then they learn and they settle down, and by the end of the season, they're learning pretty much what the game's about. Is that correct? That is correct, and surprisingly, you know, we keep up with their heights each year. Most of the kids will grow at least three to four inches from kindergarten to first grade. So there's an amazement as far as the improvement of their size and how they can shoot the basketball yeah. in, in the beginning of the year to the end of the year. But from kindergarten to first grade, it's amazing, amazing of the improvement. Happens. Do you lower the, the basket? We, we do. For the kindergarten and first grade, okay. they start at eight feet. And then the second and third, eight and a half. And then we go up to nine feet, and then the older kids play on a ten foot. So we 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 have a, a eight foot goal that we the younger see. Kids I play could it. play on that one. You could. Yeah, I, I could handle that one. Getting it on up there is is kind of difficult for me, but I could I could do that one. Listen, you also I know you work a lot in the church. I and do. You, and you work with the youth, but you also uh, work in mortgage. Mm hmm. You want to talk about that for a little bit? Okay. Um, work at Home Mortgage Solutions. Um, we're, most people know Jenkins Deli here in town. We're yes. across the street um, above Dr. Bacon. We have five loan officers. Um, you know, this is, I'm, I'm retired. I do most of my work through upward through my office, through my uh -huh. computer. So with the modern age we have, you can do this now. But uh, I do some loans. Uh, we have 100 years experience with the people in their mortgage business. Yes. As you know, the mortgage rate uh, right now is the lowest it's been since 1949. 
A number of people are buying homes. A number of people are refinancing. We do all of that. We do VAs, loans. We do reverse mortgages. We do uh, uh, purchases of all sorts. Um, we have uh, THDA loans available. One of the best loans we have out there is called Rural Development. Yes. And it's 100% financing. THDA is 100% financing. If they so qualify. If they qualify, but you don't have to have any money down. No. And, and it's amazing. And, and you if you can, can sweet talk the sellers into paying your closing costs, you're in real good shape. So Absolutely. That, There's no money down. That's what we're good for. You, you do the loans, we'll do the selling, and we'll get them out there without any money out of pocket pretty much, right? Absolutely. We've been highly blessed living in Cleveland, Tennessee. And the different uh, companies that are moving in, yes. And these different families that are moving in with these companies that are needing housing, you guys start to program and, and we you finish it. we finish it. Uh, but the Lord has blessed us. We've been uh, highly favored for this area, and and it's phenomenal the growth that we've um, we've had in the last couple of years. Well, they say that we're one of the fastest growing areas that we're going to have for and that's around it on the East Coast. That's we're true. gonna we're gonna be the center of everything, and I just think that's a favor of God in in this area and what we're having and what we're doing. Of course, it, it presents some problems with schools and uh, housing and some different things, but it's all going to be taken care of and it's all going to be great because of of what we have. I appreciate you coming today. Thank it's you. been a quick fifteen minutes, hasn't it? It has. I know, but I hope you've learned something about some programs for your children or your grandchildren. And let me say, as a, a grandparent and Chris, as a parent for children that have done the Upward program, it is phenomenal. It's worth your time. It's worth your effort. And uh, I always enjoy going. So thank you for being here today. And good luck with this year. And thank I know you. that God's going to bless it and you're going to have a great year. And the mortgage. Tell me what the interest rates are today and we'll let you go. All right. You, you think, or yesterday. Well, uh, as of today, you can still do like a 3.25 on a 30-year it's under three that you can do a 15-year mortgage. So it's phenomenal what you can do. Uh, awesome. Cheaper than renting, let me tell you. Absolutely. Listen, we're going to go for a break, and we'll be right back. And thank you again, Ralph, for being here. Enjoyed thank it. You. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Visit Tennessee Liquidators and save up to 60% off retail prices. Tennessee Liquidators carries closeout and shelf pulls. All items are brand new. Electronics, everything from big screen TVs to notebooks, new toys, new bicycles, baby merchandise like high chairs, car seats, and strollers, household items like coffee makers, blenders, microwaves, vacuum cleaners, irons, and mini refrigerators. Tennessee Liquidators also carries a selection of furniture, including dinettes and patio furniture. You won't believe all the items to choose from under one roof with such low, low prices. Clothing starting at $1, winter coats and boots, health and beauty items, makeup, hair color, shampoos, as well as cleaning supplies and detergents. Tennessee Liquidators, 154 Buchanan Road, 479-3912. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors. 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. 
Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Hi, and welcome back to Tennessee Valley this morning. And uh, we're going to switch gears just a little bit. And we have Dr. Bill Green with us from Lee University. He's the Dean of School of Music. And you have some awesome things coming up. And tell us what it is. I'm going to let you share that All great right. news. It is a very exciting time at Lee University. Uh, we are about to load the bus with 200 kids and about 35 adults. Well, more adult, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, and head to Washington to sing at the inauguration next Monday, a week from today. A week from today, I know we were just sitting here in the studio talking about it, and Sunday morning I was at North Cleveland Church of God and heard the choir sing, and I'm telling you it was awesome. You just didn't sing long enough. It was my <laughs> only thing, but it was awesome. Thank the you. songs that you have chosen, you want to tell us some of the songs you've chosen? Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, the, the songs have you represent patriotic and inspirational and spirituals. We were, they, they gave us a lot of leeway in what to choose. But uh, as you know, Sunday we sang, This Land is Your Land. And, and great. Yeah. Great arrangement. Did you do a lot of the arranging? No, no. This, this, this these, are, the these are all arranged. And, and I selected that specifically because Voices of Lee does that arrangement. Yes. By Derek Johnson. And I wanted the music to represent what we are at Lee. And the uh, Voices of Lee is a big part of what we do. And so uh, that, I said that specifically. I chose that. Uh, one of the pieces we didn't do yesterday is Chattanooga Choo Choo. Okay. And uh, I chose that because it's a regional favorite and it really has kind of wide appeal. But also the lead singers do that piece. And there are a lot of the lead singers are in okay. this particular group. Uh, and I really do think it, it's very broad. That piece is very broad. As a matter of fact, a little side comment. I was in uh, Germany this past summer and was walking around and heard someone playing on the guitar Chattanooga Choo Choo. I thought, wow, the thing you don't expect to hear in Germany is Chattanooga Choo Choo. But uh, it did show me that it has worldwide appeal. Uh, but we also are singing uh, some spirituals, a piece called I Could Tell the World we did yesterday. Yes. Uh, Saints Bound for Heaven is another uh, spiritual that we'll do. Uh, we have uh, a song of peace, which was one we sang yesterday. Yes. Uh, as well as um, a piece called... Um, now, I can't remember all of them. Well, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. But there, there are 30 minutes of music that we've prepared. And then shortly, we will find out in the next few days exactly how many minutes we'll perform. A lot of that is based on the timeline that they have in Washington. But uh, they say we'll sing at least 15 minutes and maybe as much as 30. Okay. Oh, wow. And uh, I believe you announced uh, Sunday morning when we were there that uh, if you want to watch live stream, Yes. You can, and, and tell them how to get there, because they may not have the whole program on your networks. Sure, they sure. Will, they will choose, pick and choose what they want to, to air. So, therefore, if you want to see the whole program, then, then go to the live right. stream. There, there is a live stream, and we will have that link directly on our Lee University website 
So the easiest way probably to find it is to go to the Lee University website that morning and then just follow that link all the way. Okay. This is actually, uh, the, the link is, is housed on the uh, Joint Commission for Inaugural Ceremonies on their website. If you search for that, you would find it. And then on that morning, that link will show up. Okay. And that will be beginning to end. Now this, well, our part of the program is in the prelude of the, before the inauguration, which starts about 9.30 and goes until about 10.30. And at that point, from what I understand, they begin announcing certain people uh, uh, coming on the platform and, uh, and some of the, that kind of pomp and circumstance there. Uh, so if, if people tune in about, about 9.30, that would be plenty of time to, to catch what we're going to do. And um, uh, it, it'll be a, a, a wonderful time for us, a very exciting time to be there. I know. I, I just can't imagine. And I understand, and you can correct me if I'm, I don't have all of this correct, that the pr vice presidents of Lee are going to be riding the buses also. They are. Is that correct? They are, yes. How about that? <laughs> so what, what a great time you all will have. Oh, well, it, it'll be a lot of fun. There's been so much support from, uh, from the top uh, on, on this particular event, and, and so many people make this happen. The, I can't imagine being a director of a group of 200 and taking them on the road. But I'm, I'm in charge of the musical aspects, and then there are many other people that are They're working alongside. The, the you know, details. Right. Cole Strong and Brad Moffat, who's traveled for years yes. with the lead singers, uh, as well as the president's, uh, our president's staff have been fully involved in this. And everybody taking their piece of the puzzle and making it happen from all the way from room assignments to where we're stopping for dinner and how long we're there to bathroom breaks along the way, every little detail. Okay, I'm going to ask you this. If it's not something you want to tell, that's okay. But there is a certain wardrobe that, that you all have put together for everyone to look uniform. There is. There and, is. and you want to tell us about I that? I will tell you a little about that. Uh, every student will have a pea coat, a black pea coat, and a scarf, and a, a little lean beanie, and so... Uh, so we, we've told them um, we're, we're going to supply everything basically from the waist up uh, for them. I just think that's great. When I heard what, what they were uh, going to supply for them to, to wear that day, because it is outside and it is going to be about 30-some degrees, yes, as we were speaking earlier, that the pea coats, everybody looks the same, the, the guys and the girls, and then the, the, the little hats that they're going to wear to keep them warm and also to look great, right. and scarves. I just think it was a great, because I wondered, I, what are they going to wear? What, what will you do because of such heavy clothes they need? Right, And right. the cost of heavy clothes that you would have to, to, to uh, prepare and have for them, and that is awesome. Who chose that? Well, it was it was, was a, it a committee. It was a, okay. a committee of people uh, that that worked together on that, and it was a kind of a fun process because we went through diff different coats and different hats and different color scarves and trying to figure out exactly the right combination. Uh, so, uh, and, and the kids are thrilled. And you, know, you didn't have a lot of time to get all this together, did you? No, we, we've known since uh, November. See, so, and that's a long time when you're getting 200 pea coats. It is. <laughs> it, 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 is it is a long time, and, and not a lot of time to repair music when kids are gone for a lot of decent. And that's, yes. a lot of, that's a lot of hotel rooms to, it is. to fill up. I mean, especially with everybody coming there one time. That's, right. You've got to get in there and get it done fast. Well, I know they took... Uh, offering for you at church uh, yes. Sunday morning and then do you get any money from the government to to I know you were invited by Lamar is right. that correct and uh, do you get finances from them also to to help defray some of the expenses luckily that part of it is not my job oh okay, <laughs> so okay. I don't know the details you don't know that. details I just yeah. wonder because it has to be a costly thing and I'm sure the it school is. is putting out a few dollars. Right, right. And, and I, I do know the school is funding uh, a good bit of that. Yes. I don't know what the, the it's parameters worth it. of that The are. advertising. What would you right. pay for advertising it like that? I mean, to put it out there. And then we also, they also talked about the opportunity to affect someone's life with the spiritual aspect of, because there's so many people praying for this choir as they go, right. and that, that the Lord will just really, really inspire them to sing and touch some lives. And so what an opportunity to, uh, to go and represent Lee University. Right, and, and one thing we believe at Lee, as you know, is that everything we do is Christ-centered. Yes. You know, whether, whether we're there as an artist, whether we're there as a minister. Uh, and, I've, and I talked to the kids the other day about this specifically. So many of our groups go out and minister on a regular basis. And we're in worship services with, with people, and that's a very different environment. It's a wonderful environment. We're very comfortable there. Uh, this is not a worship service, but it is a, a way to let our light shine. Absolutely. You know, and, and we never know. We, we plant the seed. That's right. And then someone realizes, wait a minute, Lee University, I never knew they had that. And let me investigate a little bit about that. And so we, we hope not only does it draw 
you know, we would love for it to draw students for us, of course. And favor. You know, right. that, that's, that's what it's all about is, is the favor that it, you get from it. It, it really is. And uh, it, it'll be and, and a way to plant in somebody's life mm -hmm. where God can send the next person to water that and it will grow and somebody will harvest that someday, we yeah. believe. What a great opportunity. I mean, it's just awesome. I wish when I was at Lee back in 1959. <laughs> <laughs> you were I born went, in 1959. No, no. But there were, there were like 300 students. So, you know, we couldn't have had a choir of 200. Right. We might have had 20, you know. But that's, that's been a while back. Uh, J.T. Humphreys, did, right. you heard, you've heard the name. Oh, you yeah. don't know him because he was probably gone before you were ever born. <laughs> but anyway, it's been a while since we were there. But I go back and I think about all the great memories and the great friends. Right. Some of my, one of my very best friends in life, she's like my sister, I met at Lee. And we, and she's on your board, Pat Carroll. Oh, yes. And, and it, we're family, you know, and I think about it. That's where I met her. That's where we both married guys from here. And uh, we have stayed friends all these years in our family. And, and it's like sister, you know, we interact with families and everything. Right. And it's always been, if I had not attended Lee, I always think about that because God, I think, plans your steps and he, he orders them and you, you yes. follow things. I didn't graduate. I got an MRS, you know, <laughs> which a lot of girls get. And right. now, but, I, but anyway, it, it made such an impression on me. And then, of course, Chris went for a, a, a I went while. I went for a while there, Lee, yes. And Bible was his favorite. Yes. And it really was. Yes, mm -hmm. it, was, it was a good oh, subject. It yes. was a hard subject. Yes. Harder and, than uh, you think. But, uh, but life is just uh, wonderful and where you set your luggage down for a little while is where you're going to make your friends and all. Right. And Lee has been such an inspiration to me and, and to my family and in my life. And I can't imagine what it's going to be when these that are going to Washington tell their stories mm -hmm. and their memoirs when they get older to their children. What an experience. How, right. you know, that's an opportunity of a lifetime. And, and you realize that it's, it's, it's about experiences we have together. Yes. And things like this, any, anybody that's been to Lee, I, I was the same way, you know, I, I traveled with, with groups and w was involved in clubs and those experiences build relationships. And boy, to have this one, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. I'm, I'm very fortunate that I'm here now yeah. and get to be involved. But to have this experience that is so grand, I've had many alumni, even yesterday at church, asking me, why didn't you do an alumni choir? You know, that would have been the thing to do. <laughs> well, I probably wouldn't have been in that either, so that, that, one, that would have been okay for some of them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have made that one. But uh, I think about the greatest thing that happened with us at Lee was we, we would beat Temple. There we go. You know, I right. mean, that was a big That's hooray. We, still a great thing. Is that still a great thing? <laughs> still okay. a great thing. Okay, okay, I don't stay with sports very much. But anyway, listen, what a privilege it is for you to take the time to come and share with everyone in Cleveland about, tell us about the concert. Yes, I will. We almost forgot that. There's a wonderful thing. This coming Thursday night, 7 o'clock, mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to have a way for the community to be involved. We really believe that this is not only about Lee. Not, it's, first of all, it's not only about the choir, yes. but it's not only about Lee, it's also about our community. It sure is. You know, it's really blessing on our community. You know, your previous guest was talking about what, how our community has grown, uh -huh. and it really is the favor of God in our community. It this is. This is another testament of that. So we're gonna celebrate together with our community. Seven o'clock, the Con Center, at, uh, and the mayor will be with us, the, the wind and it's ensemble. Free, it right? is free. It is free. It is free. Doors will open about 6.30, and, uh, the, um, the wind ensemble will be playing, a, a few patriotic pieces. They'll actually accompany the choir on a couple of pieces uh, that we'll be doing. In Washington, we'll have to do this with piano, but we'll do them with the whole band this time so the okay. community gets the full effect. Well, listen, if you're, you don't have anything planned and you need to change it, if you do have something planned, and go attend this concert, you will be blessed by it. If the music is awesome, and I kid you not, and I'm, you know me, I'm just real blind. If I don't like it, I'll say, yeah, if you have time, go. But this one you will thoroughly enjoy. Thank you, Dr. Green. It's been wonderful. Well, thank and you for I me. wish you the best. Pray for safety and that you all just have the most wonderful time ever. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And we'll be right back in just a moment. So thank you. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least 2,000 bucks. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. 
Hello, I'm Bill Odom. Hi, and I'm Tammy Odom. We want to invite you to join us on Joyous Living Today for interviews, testimonies, and gospel music by special guests and Dixie Sunshine. Right here on WTNB, Sundays at 4 p.m. and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Jesus, Jesus, the light of the world. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law, have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Visit Tennessee Liquidators and save up to 60% off retail prices. Tennessee Liquidators carries closeout and shelf pulls. All items are brand new. Electronics, everything from big screen TVs to notebooks, new toys, new bicycles, baby merchandise like high chairs, car seats, and strollers, household items like coffee makers, blenders, microwaves, vacuum cleaners, irons, and mini refrigerators. Tennessee Liquidators also carries a selection of furniture, including dinettes and patio furniture. You won't believe all the items to choose from under one roof with such low, low prices. Clothing starting at $1, winter coats and boots, health and beauty items, makeup, hair color, shampoos, as well as cleaning supplies and detergents. Tennessee Liquidators, 154 Buchanan Road, 479-3912. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back.
back to Tennessee Valley this morning and uh, with our, me today I have a special friend and someone that I have been trying to get on the program and here she is today and I said what are we going to talk about and she said anything you want to talk about. Now let me tell you we go back a long way. We can talk about a lot of things but it's Kelly Bender with the city of school, a city, uh, the Cleveland City Schools and she is supervisor of counseling and special programs. Now let me tell you I'd probably be in the special program. Um, you know, and Kelly, you know that. Thank you for being here today. Well, thank you for having me. Hey, it's wonderful. And, and Chris, we've worked with your kids. And Chris, when they were much younger, right? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> we have been around a long time, Kate. A long, long time. I know. It, it's, it's, it's awesome to see uh, where you have gone. You started teaching. I did. Was in school and got your master's and then started Absolutely. teaching. And you've gone from... What, first grade, kindergarten on up? I have. I've just done about everything you can possibly do. I started out uh, with Bradley County Schools yes. back in 1982, and then I moved to uh, taught first grade for about eight years. And then after that, I went to um, work on my graduate degree in counseling. And then I moved to the city school system and was a school counselor for about 15 years. And then decided there was a little bit more I wanted to do and went into administration. And while I was the assistant principal at Blythe Bower Elementary for um, three years. And then I went to Arnold and was at Arnold Memorial. I'm very blessed to be there for seven years. And now I've moved to central office as a supervisor of counseling and special programming. What a career been you've been had, girl. I have been busy. And raised two daughters. Raised two daughters. And, and taught, a husband. And a husband. <laughs> raised a husband. And taught dancing for 30 years during all that time. I and know. that's where we all became and associated with each other. We worked with, Ms. with Miss Cleveland together and Pilot Club and all of those things. And, and we used to have some great times when you'd put those girls through torment. Well, <laughs> trying, to oh, get, no. trying to get them ready for Miss America. In fact, we watched Miss America. We did. Saturday night. We did. And, um, Talent's kind of interesting, isn't it? It was very interesting. It, it was very, very interesting. I had texts coming in like crazy. What about this talent? It gets worse as we go. And I'm thinking, <laughs> let's just take talent out of the program and put them up there for scholastics and beauty, you know? You know, Kay, I still will put you up against anybody getting a girl ready to go to Miss America. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, you know how well, to find kind. it and you know how to fine tune it and get them ready. But we were so blessed to have you work with us in Cleveland all those years. And that's why we were so successful and we all and know we that. Were successful. We, we were had, successful. We had some great years. I think I've worked with it about 20 years. Wow. Which was, and when it was over, it was over. You know, I'd had enough. I'd done enough. I had enjoyed it and uh, and all. But your job as a dancer instructor, a dance instructor, was so beneficial. Not only that, she taught and she was in counseling. So <laughs> we had the whole package for these girls. We could get them we, mentally ready and we could get them physically could. ready. We could get we their could. routines worked out and then we'd just get them dressed, wouldn't we? We did. And they'd wear clothes they didn't like. But it was okay. But it was okay. They, and they looked they, good. And by the time it was over, they loved it. That's right? exactly right. We would be so difficult, and I know we'd look at the girls and say, okay, you can love us now and hate us when you get to state and you're not prepared, or you can hate us now while we prepare, we get you prepared or love us after you get to state. And that's usually the way it was. They weren't real happy with us while we were training, but when we got to state, they were so excited and so blessed because they knew what to do and how to perform, and so they did well. That's exactly right. And, and it, was one, it was a wonderful time, great memories, and I just wouldn't take anything for that time in Chris my life. Chris grew up with all the pretty girls around the house. There you go. Didn't you, hun? Well, they were there, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he was young. He didn't pay much attention to them, I don't think. Uh, I wasn't, well, say. I wasn't at home much, but I remember them coming in and out. Yeah, the, and some uh, of them came in and stayed for like six or eight months, and then they were out, Yeah, right? yeah, they said We the had house guests so. for a long time. <laughs> I remember all of all y'all at the house working on that stuff. So. Yeah, and in case that some was... of you are watching this morning and you watch QVC a lot, let me yeah. tell you, Lisa Robertson, who is on QVC and one of their mm -hmm. top salespeople, lived with me, worked with Kelly yeah. uh, to be Miss Cleveland and then on to be Miss Tennessee and then from there her career just took off and yeah. look where she is now. One of the higher paid employees of QVC. Wow. Yeah, she, she's done great but they learn great lessons from that. Absolutely. You know? It, it, there are a lot of positive things that come through those programs. Oh, uh, and I think I learned more than they did. <laughs> I would lose weight because I counted when they did their exercises. <laughs> 
Oh. You know, that's what they'd say. They'd say, yeah, easy for you. You count. Well, you know, no, you've got to have a counter. Needs, you've got to count. To count. That's you've right. got to count. That's right. But tell me what's going on. We are, we are growing. We're going to get off of that sissy stuff. And we're going to talk about the school system sure. and what's happening in Cleveland with the growth that we're having mm -hmm. and the transit people coming in and moving in and, and replay and, and, and companies moving them in for from everywhere from Germany on on. And our school system has to has to work with that and have someone that, to make all of that function correctly. Sure. What's going on with you? And that's part of your job. But absolutely. You know, we are so blessed in Cleveland City Schools to have just a very strong school system. Dr. Ringstaff has done an excellent job and we are so proud of all the things we have to offer to the people of Cleveland City. Um, we're very blessed to have a funding body that funds the, mm -hmm. funds our programs. You know, the city council is just wonderful for us and to us. But uh, there are challenges with Cleveland City and, and what is happening right now. Unfortunately, growth is happening. Uh, just unbelievable amount of growth in Cleveland City schools. And so we are looking at the present time even of um, pursuing another elementary school and that is just going we have no more growth room our well, elementary schools are full the middle school is full high school has a little bit of growth room but not a whole lot but um, our population is changing we're seeing a growth in our ESL population which is English as a second language mm -hmm. and so that creates some challenges to our teachers that uh, are learning new techniques and new things that they need to be able to uh, be aware of to be able to help those students be as successful as well. Kelly, I'm going to be funny but it, does that put Southern language at third? Is that what we're going <laughs> You know, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, there, I think the last time I looked, we had about 68 different dialects in Cleveland City Schools that, is awesome. that we were dealing with right now. Is that something? And absolutely. And that's just something that 15, 20 years ago you would you, not even no, think didn't. about. Mm -hmm. So um, it is, if you're in education right now, I would strongly recommend that you look at picking up a certification in English as a second language as well because it's an area that we are just looking for teachers all the time. Uh, really strong techniques that would help uh, to any teacher in the classroom. But uh, transitioning is, is a big part of my job. Um, Dr. Ringstaff really is focused on making sure that it's a smoothless transition. No matter what area you're in, what, where you're coming from, or what grade you're moving to. You see, we go from pre-K to kindergarten, that's a transition. You go from second to third grade at Yates Ross, there's another transition for us. And then, of course, middle school to high school, I mean, uh, fifth grade to middle school, what a difficult time for a fifth grade student to get ready to go to sixth grade at the middle school. But we have a great team of counselors and teachers at the elementary level and teachers and counselors at the middle school level that are working on a seamless transition plan to try to help those students the minute they walk in the door at sixth grade at Cleveland Middle School to feel a part of everything. Uh, and then the other transition is from eighth grade to ninth grade, which we have the same transition, you know, when those students from eighth grade have to go over to the high school. There is so much to do at Cleveland High School. They have a hard time trying to decide what it is they want to do, where they want to fit in. So that transition program is just so important. And then the last transition they make is after they graduate. They've got to be ready and well equipped to go to, to, go to college, college and be college ready. So we are working really hard developing new programs. We're always looking for new ideas. We're looking for ways to involve parents looking for ways to involve the community just to make the transition as seamless as possible. Yeah, and a lot of times you don't have a lot of parental uh, in interaction with the kids and, and participation. I know they were talking about the PTOs and all, mm -hmm. the, trying to get them in. And some of the schools, I mm -hmm. talked to one of them, and, mm -hmm. and uh, Keller Williams goes, uh, help sponsor one of the schools mm -hmm. in there, and they were talking to me about they one of the classes doesn't have a homeroom mother. Yeah. So it, well, would, would we take it? Would we take care of oh, that? Oh, and that's such a blessing to that school, I can just assure you. But you know, dynamics have changed, family dynamics have changed, and where parents are having to work now, and when they get off from work, they're busy trying to get supper cooked, they're trying to get their homework done, they're trying to take care of all of their own needs. It's very, very difficult to be involved. But technology is great because it's allowing parents to be very involved in things that are going on. You know, we have lots of um, uh, parent portals that you can log on to the school website. You can see 
class blogs, you can see teachers' web pages, teachers can uh, send emails, you can send teachers' emails. There's so many ways parents can get involved. If you can't get to the school, that's okay. Don't let that stop you from being involved in your child's education. Even if you just write a little note in their agenda each day to that teacher so the teacher knows you're trying to stay on top of, any, of everything going on and if there's anything that they need for you to do, you know, the teachers will just sign that down in the agenda as well. So, you know, there's lots of ways to communicate with, with schools, to communicate with teachers, and to create a stronger bond between the parents and, and the school. And, and you're losing the ability to lose the notes when they carry them home, right? Absolutely. When you can do it. I really, oh, truly, we laugh honestly, about that. Honestly, but, but you have the ability to get straight to the parent through in, through their uh, social media and, and Absolutely. emails and things. Um, I know that Ms. O'Brien at the high school, she has a Twitter account. And uh, it, I you follow can, that, you and can, I know what's going on there. Absolutely. I don't have a child there, but you still know what goes on around. and and can follow things at Absolutely, school. and she is, you know, she is so tech savvy. She is teaching me, you know, she she is from the world that is so technology integrated and she's helping me learn, you know. But there are so many ways that we are trying to make contact with our parents each and every day. And so, you know, everybody has a cell phone and everybody, yes. almost everybody will text and you can text, you can email, you can Twitter, you can Facebook. There are just so many ways to to touch base, um, we have grades online, so there's never a okay. there's never a an excuse for parents not to know how the children are doing in class. And we can't um, change them anymore, can no, we? No, can't change oh, them gosh, anymore. Oh gosh, you're taking away all of my little all, tricks. I'm telling you right now, but you know, <laughs> well, a they parent, can't afford a signature. They cannot. They cannot. They take cannot. it back to school to show that Doesn't the work that way. But a parent can log on, and they can they can look at attendance. They can look at discipline issues. They can look at grades. They can look at homework assignments. They can look at assessments that have been taken. It's just, it's so, it's so empowering to those parents if they'll yes. just embrace it and use it. And use it. Mm -hmm. uh, I know in, in growing up, I changed schools a lot because mm -hmm. my dad was a minister and back then we would change every two years if, if sure. that was a long time, sometimes a year, but two years. And I was always the new kid in school. Mm -hmm. And I guess your program and, and the department you're in and, and, and under your title would come making sure those children can be washed in and put in and let them flow with the other students and not feel like they're left behind and, and they're the new kid mm -hmm. on the block. Absolutely. The, the middle school and the high school, they both have uh, connections groups oh, good. that the minute the students come in, they are assigned to a group and they will stay with that group for all four years. And awesome. they, they fit there. They, the teacher, they have the same staff member that stays with that group. So that really strong relationship is built there and, and they don't lose it year after year. That's a wonderful thing they've got going yeah. at the high school. They've got a leadership program that on orientation day the leadership uh, staff is there in orange shirts. They're there to help any of the new students, to new parents, anyone that wants to come into the high school. Hold and that they thought will Kelly time. because we're going to go away for a break and then we'll be right back with Kelly Bender. Okay. Visit Tennessee Liquidators and save up to 60% off retail prices. Tennessee Liquidators carries closeout and shelf pulls. All items are brand new. Electronics, everything from big screen TVs to notebooks, new toys, new bicycles, baby merchandise like high chairs, car seats, and strollers, household items like coffee makers, blenders, microwaves, vacuum cleaners, irons, and mini refrigerators. Tennessee Liquidators also carries a selection of furniture, including dinettes and patio furniture. You won't believe all the items to choose from under one roof with such low, low prices. Clothing starting at $1, winter coats and boots, health and beauty items, makeup, hair color, shampoos, as well as cleaning supplies and detergents. Tennessee Liquidators, 154 Buchanan Road, 479-3912. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. 
At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back, and uh, we're still with Kelly Bender from uh, C Cleveland City Schools, and we're talking about transitional. Yes, transitioning and all the okay. opportunities that students have okay. um, in our schools. Yes. And I think if I was going to give a piece of advice to parents or students that were moving into our school system, I would probably just tell them, please make sure that you're as involved as you possibly can be. There are so many wonderful clubs. Uh, depending on when you move during the year, like if you moved right now, you probably wouldn't have the opportunity for some sports teams or um, some different activities, cheerleading or band or some different things like that. However, you know, you've got spring musicals coming up, you've got uh, spring sports coming up, there's lots of different um, clubs that really, really take an active part in our community. And so I would just say, Find out what's going on, find out what you really are in, interested in, what you enjoy, and make it happen. Anna, our uh, exchange student with the Rotary Club that we have, uh, yes. she is at, at there at Cleveland High, and mm -hmm. she plays basketball. And she's playing basketball. She is, and very good basketball player, she's doing and a, a very good job. student. Yeah. And she is so excited, and we were talking about technology, uh, we were at dinner with her and her host families, and um, we gave her a, a Christmas gift from Rotary Club, and it was an iPad. Uh, and she was, I mean, just, it was an I'm awesome sure. 
I'm sure. thing just to watch her face and to see her. And she said, I never dreamed I would get this iPad for Christmas, you know. But she was so excited. But, but just how she has fit in. Sure. And she's only going to be here until June or July. Right. But, uh, but has an awesome experience. Absolutely. And, you know, of course, I'm a Raider. You know, we're, yes. at all, we're at all those ball games. And we sit right behind the bench. So it has been really interesting watching her interact oh, really? with, with the basketball players because there's a lot of difference from her background and yes. the background here in Cleveland, Tennessee. But I watch them and they laugh and they cut up and they have a good time with each other. And they're all teaching each other, yep. you know, and I'm new her things. counselor. Does that not just... Well, I love it. I love it. Well, I cheer for her every time she needs to go you in. Tell her, you tell her. You and she me. played great last Friday night at Ray Did County. She? she played extremely well. Well, but they say I have to come to one of the ball games. You know I'm not real sports-minded, but I need to go watch her well, play. Well, if you'll come, you can sit with me. I would and, love to. And we'll sit right behind the bench and we'll cheer okay, the whole time. Okay, you can text me and let me know when they're going to be. I'll I can't go know. this week, but next week I can. Well, hey, we'll find a time to. Okay, you know? I would love to go. But uh, lots of lots of great things are going on in Cleveland City Schools, and you know, as Ms. O'Brien tweets every day, it's just a great day to be a Raider. Well, it's a great day for me to breathe. You know, <laughs> I just glad every morning that I get up with breath, and my my picture's not in the obituary column. Well, I tell you what, come on over <laughs> to high school, and we will we will let you rock and roll with us over there. Okay. okay. Listen, Kelly, it's been great having you. Stay Thank seated you. there. Chris and I are going to talk about real estate for just a moment before we leave you today. I do sell real estate. Chris sells I real, sell estate real estate, and and great listing. Right? I, right. Someone called me this morning and said, "Can you do so and so for me?" And I said, "Well, I'm going to be out of town." But could I send Chris? And they said, yes, he's better looking than you anyway. So, And I said, he's kinder than I am. So always feel free to call Chris. Chris, you want to give him your give him your phone number and where they can reach us on the Internet? That's right. You can reach us at uh, 423-961-8095. Or you can reach us on the web at www.chrisfreekw.com. And that's uh, a blog that we have that has all of our virtual tours, all of our information, and it'll have our show notes from today's notes on it. That's uh, right. From today's show on here. So we'll have all the information that Kelly talked about and some of the others. And we'll Dr. The, Green. Dr. Green and, and about Upward Basketball. We'll have all of that information on there for you that you can come visit. And along with that, you can sit, find out about real estate and things we have. And then, Kay, your phone number is... 718-6967. Had <laughs> stop and think. I don't call it very often. And you can go to kfree.com. And... It's the same thing on my website, so on yours, uh, yours is a little bit different. It, it, it still he probably it, has more it, on it, his. It can lead to that. It can lead to that, but you can search homes and the, the homes that we have. You can search those and other homes. And, okay. Did you and get all that. Did you get my apple pie recipe on there? I don't know if we've got apple pie recipe on there yet. Well, we need to put that on there. I'm going to yes. make a note right now. You go, and Chris is going to put the apple pie recipe on there, and it is divine. You cook it in an iron skillet. And I'm telling you, it's the best apple pie you were ever put in your is mouth. Is it and easy? It's, it's easy. Okay. You know me. You, okay. you know me, Kelly. Well easy. enough to know Gotta I'm not going to do anything difficult. But anyway, there's other recipes still on yes. there, right? Oh, yeah. And yes. so we have a lot of good things, but we have homes to sell in the price range of $79,000 up to around 700,000 and we have land up to 2 million. So uh, I just listed a brand new listing in uh, Meigs County. It's an 85 acre farm. Mm -hmm. I already have people looking at it. If you're interested in a farm, it's at the corner of Highway 305 a highway 68 and County Road 305, 305 in a phenomenal, has a great lake on it. Yes. It's a great piece of property, 349000 great buy. So anyway, uh, look us up on the internet, look in the real estate review book, call us 718-6967. And 961-8095. And that's K-Free and Chris Free, and we'll be happy to assist you. You hire us to work for you, and I'll grant you, you'll get some hardworking people. And you get the two for the price of one. So be sure and call us. And listen, thank you for watching today. It's been awesome being with you. We've had some great, great guests. Yesterday. And Kelly, thank it's you. been a real treat to have you. Don't forget, next Monday is when Lee University Choirs will be at the inaugural uh, in uh, Washington, D.C., and listen to them between 9.30, 10.30, and Chris will have all the information have links up there. on our website. So have a good week, and we thank you so much for watching, and we will see you later.